Give to the Max Day in Minnesota is coming up in just a few weeks. So maybe now's a good time to talk about the benefits of charitable giving. Dustin Smith from Wealth Enhancement Group joining us this morning to chat about it. Hey, Dustin. Hello and good morning. Hey, good morning. So, um, you know, we know what people give to nonprofits because a lot of times they put it out there on their yeah. tax forms and it's actually it's actually yeah. fallen over the past 20 years. Yeah, if we if we look at trends, you know, the percentage of households who give to nonprofits has definitely decreased over the last 20 years. Um, and, you know, the interesting thing about that is, you know, even though the percentage of households that are giving has gone down, the, the, the people that are actually still giving are actually giving actually a little bit more money than they had in the past. Mm. We might not be making up for it, but, you know, that is definitely a trend that we're seeing. So Can, fewer givers. So uh, talk about, uh, look, we know right now we're in an election year. We know some of the reason why I'm sure people don't give as much. I mean, everything costs yeah. so much more now. And, you know, the need for so many in so many organizations, it is so great right now, Dustin. Yes, absolutely. You know, and so we often kind of question why are people getting less than before? And it, it could be for lots of various reasons, right? So if we look over the last 20 years, we had the Great Recession of the mid-2000s. We had COVID. All these sorts of things, I think, can play into this. Um, but at the same time, we've also seen a decrease in volunteerism. And so sometimes so go, those go hand in hand because you're much more likely to give to a, a, a nonprofit if you volunteer with them as well. Yeah. I mean, obviously, why a person or a family gives is unique to that individual person. Um, but what are some of the basic rules when it comes to deciding who to give, how much to give to, what tax implications are there? What rules do you need to follow? Yeah, uh, there, there can be quite a few, you know, uh, you know, uh, to, to answer that question. But, you know, I always say that I tell clients all the time, if you're going to give, you know, you want to give because uh, not because you're trying to get a tax break, right? Um, because obviously, yes, you might get some tax incentive, but you have less money in the end. <laughs> so you still want to give because it, you know it's the right thing for you and your family. So everyone's going to make that their own decision. Um, the rules can be a little bit complex. So if you tend to give a lot of money, uh, you want to make sure that you're working with your tax advisor to make sure that you're following the right rules in order to get the full tax benefits. And especially if you're giving things like stock. So if you're giving appreciated investments and so on and so forth, it can be very simple to do, but you just need to make sure that you're notating it correctly and giving the right things. So working with your tax advisor is very important there. I was going to say documentation is going to be incredibly important, especially when it comes to tax time too. Yes, absolutely. So if you're giving any sort of cash gift, if it's more than $250, uh, you're going to need to make sure that you have some sort of documentation that you did so. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Dustin, as important as Give to the Max Day is mm -hmm. coming up. The holidays yes. we know is a yep. big time for people to give. Thank you. Yes.